Good morning, everyone. We are continuing our reading through first book of Kings towards the end of the book in chapter 21, verses 1 through 16. Naboth, the Jezreelite, had a vineyard in Jezreel next to the palace of Ahab, king of Samaria. Ahab said to Naboth, Give me your vineyard to be my vegetable garden, since it is close by, next to my house. I will give you a better vineyard in exchange, or if you prefer, I will give you its value in money. Naboth answered him, The Lord forbid that I should give you my ancestral heritage. Ahab went home disturbed and angry at the answer Naboth the Jezreelite had made to him. I will not give you my ancestral heritage. Lying down on his bed, he turned away from food and would not eat. His wife Jezebel came to him and said to him, Why are you so angry that you will not eat? He answered her, Because I spoke to Maboth the Jezreelite and said to him, Sell me your vineyard, or if you prefer, I will give you a vineyard in exchange but he refused to let me have his vineyard. His wife Jezebel said to him, A fine ruler over Israel you are indeed. Get up, eat and be cheerful. I will obtain the vineyard of Naboth and Jezreelite for you. So she wrote letters in Ahab's name, and having sealed them with his seal, sent them to the elders and to the nobles who lived in the same city with Naboth. This is what she wrote in the letters. Proclaim a fast and set Naboth at the head of the people. Next, get two scoundrels to face him and accuse him of having cursed God and king. Then take him out and stone him to death. His fellow citizens, the elders and nobles who dwelt in his city, did did as Jezebel had ordered them in writing, though the letters she had sent through the letters that she had sent them. They proclaimed a fast and placed Naboth at the head of the people. Two scoundrels came in and confronted him with the accusation, Naboth has cursed God and king. They led him out of the city and stoned him to death. Then they sent information to Jezebel that Naboth had been stoned to death. When Jezebel learned that Naboth had been stoned to death, she said to Ahab, Go on, take possession of the vineyard of Naboth the Jezreelite, and that he refused to sell you, because Naboth is not alive but dead. On hearing that Naboth was dead, Ahab started off on his way to the vineyard of Naboth the Jezreelite to take possession of it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. This is a beginning of a plot that uh, we will have more as we go on through the week. But we have the plots starting with uh, King Ahab, who owned, well, virtually most of the property in the area, and he wanted some more. He was greedy. He wanted even more property. And he then asked of Naboth to do something that was a violation of the law that had been given by God, to not sell your inheritance, the land that had been given to you. So Naboth was in his perfect right to say no. I mean, he could have leased the land to him, but he didn't want to even do that, and he had every right not to do that. What comes uh, is the the plotting that comes with Jezreel, uh, Jezebel, uh, who in her uh, scheming plotted this plan using religion. Proclaim a fast. You know, let's make this look like it's spiritual, that it's so very, very important spiritually. But in fact, it was nothing. It was just pure greed, wanting to get this land that wasn't theirs, and then accuse him, put him on a stage in front of everyone in the city, and then put him on stage and have two scoundrels accuse him of of, uh, cursing God and the king. Well, Ahab gets his property, 
but it's at a price of murder. We'll see how the plot thickens as we go through the days. Stay safe. Enjoy your time. Uh, there's a lot of rain out there, but I'm hearing it's going to be warmer weather during the rest of the week. So hopefully see you soon. Bye.